What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with recaps of some of the most recent wars for 2.0. Uh, I got a couple goodies in here for you. Well, definitely got a lot of nice replays in for, here for you. One was a uh, sort of just farm war, but the main meat and potatoes of this recap is definitely going to be the war versus six schlitzes. Those guys over there are just awesome uh, and I'm about to show you why. <clears throat> so let's check out this Japanese war first. Uh, 11178, they, they didn't put a great effort. They used most of their attacks, you know, three quarters of their attacks or more. Um, but uh, definitely our guys went off up top again. So have some uh, really nice replays. And because of the lengthy recap, I am just going to dive right in here, start checking some of these ones out. But as you can see, really just absolutely killed it up top, these guys. They had definitely had a bunch of extra town halls. Um, town hall 10 spared us as well, at least three or four, I believe. Uh, let's just start in what I have here. 15, Piero. Oh, yes. Hood rat. So <laughs> not often I'm going to show... Uh, Recaps with Hoodie in them anymore because he has gone up to Town Hall 10. He's a C level 31 heroes. Uh, little slow progression for the, uh, for the old Hood man. He's uh, he's getting right into it. Those spell factories done, right? He's got those hogs, got those valves upgraded. Starting to work on those heroes. So really, really fantastic. Uh, Hoodie's going to do this little bit of a queen walk. Uh, Ends up, you're going to see what happens here. Blows open the wall. It ends up kind of walking and almost walks the other way and then goes right back. So works out perfect. Oh, no, no, no. This one, <laughs> you're going to laugh at the queen AI in this one, actually. She ends up be breaking the wall right here instead of just going back up and around. But whatever. Is what it is. Stupid queen. We've all been a victim to her blonde moments, we'll just say, in her AI. <clears throat> queen walks going splendidly here. Rage finally has to go down. That second expo locks on. So gets that down real nice and quick. Heals that queen right back up. Is losing the uh, the queen to, the, the queen's healers now to the air defense. And see what I mean? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably about a dozen, dozen tiles down she's standing. And doesn't go back up and around. So that's kind of strange. But anyways, army camps. Perfect funnel for these Valks. Sends them all right in with the king. Uh, gets the poisons down. Take care of the dragon and the loon. Valks are under the heel now in that core. Another raid spell goes down right over the core. Valks are just going to absolutely shred it. Down goes all of that stuff. See you later. There goes, there goes that second Inferno Tower. And then comes the Hawks. So Hawks now down on this Archer Tower about the 4 o'clock section. Queen is still having fun with walls up there. But kind of works out because she ends up just delaying enough. And then comes in and helps the Hogs with the cleanup. Absolutely perfect timing on everything for this attack. <clears throat> Queen steps up. Going to take care of that. Just got to take care of the cannon and the Archer Tower. Still has a couple Valkyries in there working on a wall. One, two, three, four Valkyries. This Queen still under the healer. Has a cleanup whiz coming around the bend. So definitely going to be a tree in the bag. Pretty sure this DE drill probably gave him a little bit of a scare at the end. Because look at this. It's like, oh, I bet he's like seconds left in the raid. Three star in the bag though. Oh, FB1032. I have no, no, no idea who that is. <clears throat> Anyhow, sorry, my voice is a little hoarse. I was uh, been still kind of sick, oh, uh, sick the last couple days. It sucks. So let's check out Iceman. Besides so bring a few bowlers in this attack. That's what I liked about this one. Uh, however, this is one of those very, very, very common uh, ring style town on ten bases. And what what we've um, found with the Queen AI, if you try and walk her down and around. She, she always gets stuck on this part. So the best way to deal with this raid is just charge her raid in there. So poison is going to go down, take pull out that CC. <clears throat> She's going to take care of all of that stuff. Ay, ay, ay. Long day. I was sick yesterday, so I had all the catch up to do at work today. And Anyhow, boilers go down at the kind of 5 o'clock location with the healers on them. So just love the double healer action. So doing a little bit of a polar walk here. The idea now is to essentially create a pathway for the Valks to go right up to the core here. So here come the Valks in from the 6 o'clock tip with the king. And that's see what the bowlers are doing. They, as soon as that cannon goes down and the uh, air defense goes down, there's only one place for the Valks to go. So really, really creative on that one. I like the very creative use of the bowlers on that ice. Beautiful job. Valks in under the rage now. We've all seen how fast these cores go down. Valks under a rage. Bam, bam, bam. Good timing. Just delays that heal spell just enough. As soon as they take care. Now, it sucks because they're not standing in it and they break through. <laughs> so a little bit of a waste on the heal. Although there's one Valkyrie that was standing in it doing some serious tanking for everything. Um, but the Valks are just going to go around the bend now. Still has the bowlers walking around the base. Nice and slowly doing the cleanup. I don't think he's lost one bowler yet. <laughs> just a beautiful raid, Iceman. It's tree stars in the bag. 
So nine bowlers he brought on that. Twelve Valks. Really cool army comp there. Um, next on the block, number five. Oh yeah, Polly had a six pack. <clears throat> six pack Polly. I think that's not okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Although six pack Polly has a nicer ring to it, if you ask me. Polly's gonna go ahead and charge his queen in here. Drops a raid on that uh, barracks. Quick break of the wall. <clears throat> queen is now just gonna take care of these these buildings, kind of slowly make her way in a little S shape uh, down with her targeting. Once she gets in here, she's going to get the expos. She's going to get all this stuff. CC is going to get yanked out here in one second. So really takes care of a lot with this very, very sort of uh, compact area. So here comes that CC. Tons of minions come out. Poisons go down. going to help that out. Now, when it's an all minion CC, although it's really easily poisonable, what I found, they attack so fast, is that your queen even when, though they're under poison, is probably going to need the rage or the ability. Um, unless it's like, I don't know, unless it's a very circumstance. If it's like real close like that and all the minions can kind of get clumped and attacking your queen at the same time, uh, one poison spell is not going to do the trick. You're definitely going to want to get your rage down for that. Uh, anyhow, so because of the no funneling buildings on the outside, he can just now let these Valks in and loose and go right in at this uh, Inferno Tower. Doesn't even need a jump there. One jump's going to connect both Inferno Towers. Just perfect. Valk still under the rage. Heal spell goes down nice and early. Going to help uh, everything that's not under the Inferno Tower uh, fire. And it is a single target Inferno. So just going to get absolutely shredded. <clears throat> down it goes. Everything's going to continue to work through the base. Queens, all the Queen's healers are still alive and kicking. Inferno Towers are down. Sends in the Hawks from the 6 o'clock spot. Cleanup Wiz in right behind. Getting huge value. Only there's a couple more compartments to go. Hogs are now moving in. No real worry of bombs or anything in these last compartments. So that many max hogs are just going to rip through that stuff. Down goes the Wiz Tower. Rest of the base is done for. Bing, bang, boom. That's tree in the bag for Polly GA. Nice job, man. All right. And a little Town Hall 11 action. Good old guns. Oh, I lied. I freaking lied. Why did I think that was a Town Hall 11? Did I miss something? Hmm. No, I guess I'm crazy. Anyhow, really cool war. Um, we're really trying to focus on our 10s, getting these two stars on Town Hall 11s to free up our Town Hall 11 bullies so they can just go at and automatically three star, three star some of these lower Town Hall 10s <clears throat> and then use our top Town Hall 10s for uh, whatever we need them to. Uh, anyhow, as you can see in this war, ugh, lost a few there. A lot of big losses there. Tough, tough, tough. Uh, this war, uh, we didn't exactly follow what I just said. We tried. Um, got a two-star there from a 10, two-star there from a 10. Uh, not there. We're kind of wasting our Town Hall 11 attacks. And then it leaves us short up top. And the story of this war, our Town Hall 9s kicked the crap out of them. And we didn't need any bullies. We had five leftover scouts. We were in insanely good position going into the sort of top half of the map. <laughs> we just just a six slitzes your top half just absolutely flawless performance nice job and our guys uh kind of struggled we had some miscommunications and uh whatnot but really 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 addressed some things with this war and i think moving forward we're gonna have a lot better success up top just because of it um but as you can see we didn't uh, we got you know one two i think we had five yeah, five, uh, I guess technically six of eight. That's kind of weird. Because I know I know six Schlitzes went seven of eight, I want to say, on their uh, Town Hall 10 trips, as you'll be able to see up top here. I'm trying to wait. I want to waste too much time blabbing here. So, yeah, they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of eight, and we only had one two three four five of eight. Um, so we missed three. There's the three-star difference right there. Um, again, we just couldn't get it done. We just wasted too many attacks up top in the wrong spots and just couldn't come through and didn't execute properly. And it, it happens, right? And uh, Six Slits has had to use nine, yes, nine bully attacks on our Town Hall 9s to clean up and still managed to get seven of eight of our Town Hall 10s. Uh, they're, they're top, guys. Um, real quickly, uh, let's check this out. Well, who did they hit? Psychonaut, for sure, just had a beastly war. Same with uh, Consultant there. Um, 
Psychonaut again on our top Town Hall on 10s. Just killing it. Uh, Rush with the Town Hall 10 on 10 trip there. Swift another so 11 and 12. Swift to clean those up like nothing. Um, I, I Not 100%. I know a lot of these were probably even fresh hits. Uh, fortunately, the very last part of the war, the most exciting part of the war, I had to work, so I wasn't even really paying attention. But um, regardless, amazing job by these three gentlemen up top. Um or ladies, sorry if I'm wrong, I can't tell obviously, So, uh, but just amazing job. These guys, pretty much in my opinion, these three uh, people, I guess you can even include Rush in there as well, these four people uh, essentially uh, completely won the war. I mean, don't want to take anything away. Actually, that's not that's not true. That's not, that's not a true statement because another thing, what I was just talking about, look at this, number five, number five, number nine, number nine. So uh, Randall and, sorry, who's that, El Hampo, this is such a key point to the war when your Town Hall 10s can step up and get these guaranteed two stars on the 11s. It just, that sets the tone for your top and that's how it started. So um, don't want to take anything away from your top half guys because you guys just flawlessly executed and it showed. Um, so got those, right? We uh, we struggled a bit. Like I said, we only got the one star there. We used two attack, um, sorry, got two out of the, the four Town Hall uh 11s with their 10s and then end up having to use one of Kane's attacks. So, right, these are all missed attacks that, um, yeah, we just wasted and, uh, and it cost us. So, is what it is. We uh, recognize and move on. Uh, got a lot of stuff in here, though, I want to show you. Uh, again, like, <laughs> recaps getting lengthy, so I'm going to stop blabbing and just jump in to some replays. So, starting at the bottom, had Mikao going in on number 26. <clears throat> kind of a cool base. Um, open alleyway design, though, by nature. Um, so, uh, Mikao's going to bring a really cool attack here. Does not bring, uh, Mikao's attack here, a guy in Invicta, as soon as the miners came out, started practicing this attack. I don't know if this is exactly the troop comp. Um, I don't think the eight hogs follow it, but the guy was calling, he's trying to patent it as, uh, the Mach 9 attack. Um, uh, mainly you're using max miners in your CC and pretty much all Valks maybe a queen walk um and you're pretty much just bum rushing a bunch of valks into the base into the core and using the miners on the back and uh spot that is the most deadliest for the valks as uh as sort of cleanup so <laughs> i don't know just thought i'd mention that so i think this was sort of a variation of it but um because i definitely know there's miners in the cc and pretty much all valks but the brings a couple hogs i know for the lure and then only six hogs on the back end so it's kind of six hog six minor uh, combo for the back end units so uh rage goes down poison goes down those valks can be so deadly coming out of that clan castle at your queen but mikhail takes care of it like nothing even managed to save a poison <clears throat> so the queen now is under a second rage but she's gonna kill this queen compartment and because the funnel's created up here and gets those valkyries down nice and quickly the queen's gonna use this little alleyway to her advantage and pretty much have access now to the entire base. That's the problem with these alleyways. Now, I could see the way that the guy's thinking about this. He's like, for you to be able to direct a queen down that little tiny alleyway without having her go up and around, I think that is very difficult to do in itself. But look at these miners come in, yeah. So miners gonna take care of this stuff at the end, even drops a hog to kind of help out there. So down that stuff goes and it's going to all just shift over to this Tesla farm. Still has a few hogs he's going to use to reinforce on the back end. So all the miners get over there. Queen is now, like I said, walking right into this base. No problems whatsoever. She's going to have access to everything else, including like walk right through and have access to all of the cleanup buildings, except for maybe this uh, elixir mine and builder's hut. So sends in these reinforced hogs now. Miners finally get on over there. They're going to start doing work. Like look at them. Like when they're under, they don't get hit. So as soon as they go under, they lose aggro as well. So the Tesla kind of freezes this for a moment it almost doesn't know what to do miners are still alive working on this to keep in mind he dropped those miners super early and just now has all but one left and the healer gets over just in time uh so miners gonna go in right under that wall start working on the wizard tower working on this uh, archer tower again because it's under the ground as soon as it pops down the cannon and everything's gonna start targeting stuff other stuff right goes under oh finally loses it to a spring trap there but it doesn't matter tree in the bag for mikhail using the uh sort of hybrid of a mach 9 attack we'll just say <laughs> oh invicta chat you never cease to amaze me good old ldp this guy is a god to town hall nine he just three stars everything in sight let's check out his hit on number 
15. Yeah, this was the one I wanted to show because it has six dragons. Yes, six dragons on a Town Hall 9 base. Uh, so he's going to go, of course, LDP never attacks a base without using a queen charge. So he's just going to go ahead and start funneling this queen right in at this air defense that's very on. Like, if you look at this base, right, It's it, every air defense is walkable or at least accessible by almost any any range unit on the outside or just super exposed air defense. So LDP is going to take advantage of that, right? I get the idea this guy's building that, okay, well, the air defense are spread out enough that uh, most people are using Valks nowadays. So to be able to take out a couple of those air defense with your queen might sort of, when an, unless you're a guy like LDP who can just break it down, it'd be very difficult. Like there's a lot of stuff to kill, a lot of trash to kill over here. So to, for your queen to get access, it's going to take a real long time only to get one, never mind get anything else out of the deal. Um, but LDP just goes in here, right? Just going to walk down this side of the base, continue to take all this stuff out, start sending these dragons in now from... Uh, from the 12 o'clock, keep in mind he's got these four hogs. Um, oh, why did he bring in the CC? Did he bring more hogs in the CC? I guess we're going to find out in one moment. Might even have brought Valks in the CC. So here come these four hogs on the one air, def one air defense. Going to take it down. Oh, the, the hound, the max hound. So drops the hound in. Immediately that air defense goes down, right? So the hound's routing over to this final air defense. Going to do a little, uh, little tanking. Like it... it, it pretty much dragged the cc units right across the path of the dragon to kill it zap quakes to reroute it again back down and boom the queen takes out this air defense by the time it gets there so just i don't know it's really cool attack i don't know if you plan it exactly to start going to that air defense and then uh, hit it with the hogs so then it goes over to the other one and before it gets there zap quake it and then go back down and before it gets there the queen queen's killing the other one but anyhow as you can see still has four dragons up i guess three dragons now but they're doing work the expo is grounded over here so no big deal drops a single balloon and two balloons on this side i really like the the choice of that uh, because it's really just going to help the dragons finish the cleanup here, gets that loon in there just in time. It's going to splash. It's going to take care of that Tesla. And after that expo goes down, there's only this wizard tower and this little actual compartment and the entire base left to go. Fortunately, he doesn't have his queen up, but it doesn't matter. Dragons are going to finish this off. Nice freaking raid LDP and another six pack for you, my friend. Oh, what was next? 19... Was it 19? No. Sorry, Grady. It was 19. Oh, this was a really nice attack. Dun, 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 dun. 14. Sorry, my 4 looks like a 9. Jamie. Going in on number 14. Actually, uh, sort of was helping Jamie uh, plan this attack. She was in our group. Our group did really well up top. Um, she's going to go ahead and drop these minions, create the army camp funnel here. Now, the problem with the way that's set up is with those army camps dead, there's pretty much a perfect tic-tac-toe right into the hero chamber. So keep that in mind. That is already taken care of. Plus, at the top here, it's almost like a natural funnel uh, when you leave an indent that big in your base. So uh, Jamie takes a real advantage of it. Uh, think about, it too, if she had brought Valks for this attack, too. I mean, obviously, that's that wasn't the plan, but Valks would just walk. It's like an ice cream cone, right? Just everything goes right into that funnel. Poison goes down, take care of the minions, all that jazz in there. Has that second golem still alive and well. King has him in touch. Queen's now getting a little bit of damage to her, but the goal here just needs to take care of those air defenses. So the dragons continue their way through the base um, and the DGBs. Uh, now the base is very crippled, right? It doesn't have a lot of hogs. I think it's what, 16 hogs on the back end, but this is the only compartment of danger. So on top of getting this Tesla farm, three point defense of mortar you get a third air defense out of the deal so these three dragons dropped like look i think loses this one maybe event right to the last shot of this air defense and no pretty sure i swear to god this dragon dies somehow because only one dragon's alive by the it must soak up a bomb there it is oh still alive i'm telling you this dragon dies very soon anyhow hogs are doing work in the, under that heel hogs are going to get that last air defense get those cannons down get this stuff taken care of unfortunately lost the queen but no big deal as cleanup troops on the outside still has this dragon down there that dragon in the core died must have taken a bomb like i said and finally sends in the reinforcement hogs take care of that wizard tower take care of that mortar and the base is done for just great great job that dragon still doing cleanup on the outside as minion out there a couple wizards on the way definitely a treat in the bag for jamie very very sexy hit boom um 13 
Warble taking on their 9.5. No, not 9.5. They're top nine. I swear, I swear Torn. Torn used to be in 2.0. I swear Torn and went up to Town Hall 10. My bad, Torn. But uh, Warble taking on their top Town Hall 9 here. Really, really nice attack. This was really early in the war. I believe a fresh hit as well. So insanely uh, large neutral zone. couple neutral zones in that. Uh, with dead zone and like, sort of a neutral zone. Um... But Warb's going to go ahead, drop these free minions on these buildings out here, drops a wizard out here as well. <clears throat> going to go ahead and just charge the queen right into this section of the base. Brings nine Valkyries. I believe doesn't even bring... Oh, yeah, sorry. Not this attack. Uh, Golem goes down out of that CC, so Max Golem doing serious tanking with the Expo. A couple of those uh, point defense as well. King goes down. Funnel's created. Going to let everything raid on into this base. Queen is just going to continue to do work. Move down onto that uh, uh, queen chamber area. So the goal here is to move her down to the queen range. Pull up that CC. Down goes that poison. Very scary moment too because Val gets outside of the poison. So just going to do serious work to her. But again, as long as you get that rage down nice and early and the queen didn't take damage prior, your queen should be able to take care of the Valkyries under the poison with a rage without having to burn the ability. So she's going to step up in that queen range now. But really just quick attack, right? Like um, did not wait. Just sent in the kill squad. Sent in these Valks under a heal. Now they're jumping in. Sends in a few reinforcement hogs. They're going to get good value right on that expo. Triggered a bomb at the same time. <clears throat> Does lose uh, the hogs he sent on the mortar there to the Teslas on the outside of the base. Little troll Teslas on the outside. Thought that was kind of an uh, interesting uh, choice there, Torn. But you definitely fooled Warb on that one. But now, now that other bomb is triggered. Still has hogs in helping this queen. Just can take care of those point defense on the outside. Has king and Valks in there. Finally hits that king ability. Now that they're doing tanking in that, that chamber there. Sends in the hogs on the mortar to finish it off. And they're going to take down that Tesla. Down it goes, and there's a Tesla and a Wiz Tower to go. Healer's still up. Queen doing work. Down goes that last Tesla. Air defense doesn't go down. Nice little DGB there. Um, DGB trick, right? Uh, have the one on to, to Tesla there to yank everything, and it's going to essentially create the hop no matter which angle you come in for because there were neutral buildings all around it. So nice job with that, Torn. Really, uh, really creative bomb. Or DGB, I should say. <clears throat> All right, so just a couple here more to show you. This is QC going in on their number 12. Oh, I'm going to zoom that out. Uh, she's going to go ahead and bring a little bit of a, a queen charge here. A couple minions down. Get that funnel done real quickly after that. Uh, after she takes care of this stuff in the corner. She wants it to continue and go down. <clears throat> Brings a lot of Valkyries here. Has the Earthquake and a jump spell plus a heal and a rage so really just wants to have the let the valks have a ton of access to the base you really really need to figure out how do you deal with the clan castle so the valks don't get shredded and then how do you deal with both inferno towers so uh like this one because the baby dragon and the pekka come out i think you're going to see that combination of cc a lot because you get the rage up baby dragon and then the pekka gets right in there you have to use the ability on the queen max pekka will absolutely destroy your queen if you do not use the ability. So you see that Earthquake spell went down. Good placement on that. Going to have access to the Queen Chamber and the Inferno Tower. Just going to continue the Queen. Walk down down this direction. Everything's just going splendidly at this point. You can go a little times two. Pop that Tesla. Queen does hit that Inferno Tower for a second. But really, really patient on that. And then walks right out of range. So it doesn't burn the... Uh, doesn't... Uh, I guess he already used the ability on the P.E.K.K.A., but doesn't doesn't panic, right? Just gets the queen uh, down and in. I uh, think it's a really cool point here because I'm pretty sure there go the healers. They lock onto the Valks and the king here. So good job with that. That second Inferno Tower is going to go around nice and quickly, and the healers are standing there just kind of working everything up. They do get taken out after a little bit here, but the amount of healing they get in on this little uh, kill squad there is just absolutely perfect. It's going to give them that extra oomph, get through that part of the base. Miners now in, too, from the... Uh, from the nine o'clock section. So the miners are kind of working their way up and through this base, staying very protected, right? No inferno tires for them to worry about. They just work underneath the walls, just work their way through the base. Miners are just freaking awesome units. Working their way down, no chance whatsoever. Like the, the fact that when they burrow, they lose aggro, right? So it's, I don't know, man. Miners are going to be a huge, huge thing of, of the Clash Clans future because, in my opinion, they're just an insanely good unit, and I cannot wait to see uh, their progression here. So, nice job, QC. Uh, all right, so Fence, last but not least. Um, it's kind of a weird base 
in my opinion uh very almost very like a box base uh very symmetrical um so a guy like self fence is really going to exploit that so if what you have whatever you do on one side with a similar arm on the other side you're going to have a very similar result right so if you just have a plan for both of these sections of base and back in units for the other sides then it's as long as you take care of things and, and deploy everything properly it's looking really good so first idea here a little bit of a kill squad we're gonna bring a golem we're gonna bring my king and just go right in at this um, inferno tower poison spell gonna go down take care of the minions take care of those skellies take care of the queen get really nice value as my level 40 queen walks in taking care of everything in its path Finally, that Inferno Tower goes down, but Defensive Queen is dead, got all that stuff. So in come these Valks now. Funnel gets created. Valks in right at this other Inferno Tower. Blam, blam, blam. Heal spell goes down. Going to heal them right back up because of how quickly that Inferno Tower went down. He's already got hogs in from the uh, 7, 8 o'clock location. They're moving through all these defenses. Going to meet up with all these Valks. Meet up with all this stuff right in the core. And everything is now going to push up right to the last core, last sort of uh, set of compartments with actual defenses in it. It's got some cleanup troops down here doing work. Queen is still looking good. Has not touched that ability on her. Going to work up now. Just got to take, make sure, like, really, there's not much left of this base. Not a huge area bomb threat right there is a little spot there but uh, hogs are still going to continue to get work done and do a little tanking while the valks buy the valks time to break through that wall get in there and start finishing off these cannons queen's going to step up too i think she ends up getting this cannon i'll have to get through that wall first but any time's gonna hit the ability there it goes Hits that ability, she steps up, can take care of the cannon, take care of the Tesla. Has the two Valks now coming uh, coming around the bend that we're doing cleanup down around the uh, 7, 8 o'clock location. Doing a little more tanking. Drops that cleanup wizard. Unfortunately, the, the Valks run out of range. But just very very crappy time on that. But still, has two wizards up here. Valk in there doing tanking. There's only two point defense to go. So just barely gets this because the wizards are in there to take a few shots from the archer tower and then queen has just enough juice to take down that cannon so just by the grit of your teeth south fence very nice triple buddy all right so like i said recognize the issues um hopefully we can uh, put up a little better result than uh, than this war because we were in such good position it uh, it just hurts we've uh Definitely have experienced a couple of these in the most, uh, some of our recent uh, arranged matchups. So, Six Schlitzes, nice job. Uh, I will say, huge leaps and bounds from the last time we faced you guys in Invicta. Like, your clan has just become very, very, very solid group of individuals over there. So, hats off, guys. Uh, 2.0, love you. Hopefully, uh, better luck next time. Uh, got some uh, interesting, a very interesting matchup between, it's more of a, it's like a family matchup we're going to have. I don't want to announce quite who yet. However, um, we are having a family matchup where Invicta is feeding uh, attack. Uh, Invicta is matching their training clan, and we are matching their main clan uh, on the same weekend. So I think that's going to be really cool. Anyhow, guys, that'll do it here from Wisdom from Wiser, just trying to help a bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.